Hi everybody, this is week four. Thank you for being a part of these and, and sharing them with friends. And I'm just so pleased that they've been a blessing to somebody. Really, that's uh, my intention. I wanna make a difference on others. And in fact, let me take that word, others, and start with it. Uh, some of you probably follow me on social media and I like to post occasionally about others because I think we're living in a selfie world everyone becomes very uh, kind of fixated on uh, their own image and their own the perception of them and increasing the perception. I'd like to talk about this idea that the first three weeks we've been doing in these videos we've been really talking about how we how we get ourselves all kind of thinking right aligned right to get a new 2019 to get a better 19 than we had 18 but the key ingredient here is that unless there's an others component, this community doesn't change. In fact, unless there's an others component, you won't change. It is in your best interest to hear what I'm about to say. This world does not exist for you. It's not your world to change. It belongs to somebody else. If the Bible says the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. I know not everybody listening to me believes in the Bible. But you can't deny it's the most popular book of all time for a reason. There's a lot of wisdom in it. It's saying this thing doesn't belong to you. You're a steward. You're like watching it for somebody else. You're watching it for somebody else. It belongs to him and what's in it is more than you. So where I sit right now, I'm, I'm sitting in a very diverse community. There's rich people and there's poor people. There's educated and people that haven't gotten an education. There's happy people and sad people. There's sane people and insane people. There's addicted people and sober people. And I could go on and on and on and on. Married and single, religious and irreligious. <laughs> All sorts of distinctions within feet of where I'm standing. I could walk any direction and knock on any door and find all kinds of diversity. It's about doing this together. It's about unity. It's about this community. It's about each of us doing something through ourselves for others to the honor of God. Now, that last component is probably more meaningful to Jesus followers than it is to people who aren't. But I think even my secular fans would admit that we need each other and we need to work together. Exhibit A, exhibit A, you know, that's a court term. Like the prime example of this should be Jesus people. We should be people of unity. Unfortunately, uh, it hasn't always been so. It hasn't always been so. Because sometimes religion gets in the way of faith. Those two things are not synonymous. Religion is about organizations and posturing and denominations and doctrines that everybody lines up. Jesus didn't come with a list of doctrines. He said to love one another. He came in love preaching love, preaching the kingdom, the kingdom was about love. I, I, I think that we've lost that, you know? We've lost that. And so my first correction would be to the Exhibit A people, Jesus people, that we could be more loving to each other. I'm willing to start with me. I know I've sure made mistakes in this community. I've lived here my whole life. Boy, I've hurt people and people have hurt me. For my part, forgive me. I hope you're willing to say the same for your part. That's up to you. I've committed my life to helping others it's because I believe that uh, we gotta do it together. So I've worked, I don't know, I guess with every denomination possible. I've spoken in Episcopalian churches and I've been honored to speak in Jewish synagogues. I've uh, talked to Muslim and Buddhist leaders in this community. I, I'm telling you, I, I've, I've walked across aisles that other people are building walls in the middle of because I believe that Jesus loves everybody. I don't agree with everybody. Is that, is that what we have to do? <laughs> do we, you don't really think we're gonna get seven and a half billion people to agree, do you? Forget seven and a half billion in the world. How about just a couple hundred thousand? How about the million people within 10 miles of where I'm sitting right now? Or do you imagine we're all going to agree? 
but we all need each other even when we don't agree. We can be agreeable without agreeing. And this is the challenge for our last component here, for you and I to love one another. You know, you read through passages like 1 Corinthians 13, and it, and it tells us, you know, how powerful love can be. It ends that famous passage read in so many weddings. It's not a wedding passage, it's a life passage. It says, real love never fails. It doesn't fail because it doesn't give up. That's it, it just, it, 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 things happen in, around real love. Things happen despite real love, but real love just keeps on going. It keeps trying again. And this is the spirit that we have to have in our city because our city needs you, man. And it needs me. It needs us. It needs us. So I'm, I'm, uh, I remain in this city because I love my assignment and I love all of you and I wanna do it with you. Let's, let's you and I, let's you and I make make this, uh, particularly talking to my friends in the 253, I know friends around the world will watch this, you do it for your community, we'll do it for ours. That's not my city, it's not your city, it's not the Christian city or the atheist city, it's not the Republican or Democratic city, it's our city, it's our community. And uh, it, it's, it's for us. And I've started a new endeavor with some friends. It's a gathering of people in the 253 it's not my church, it's not your church, it's our church. We're doing it together. And I'd love for you to look me up and find out more about what's going on. It's at ourchurch253.us.us. Ourchurch253.us. And just find out about what I'm up to. And I'd love for you to be a part of it. If you're already in a Jesus church, don't, hear me now, don't leave your church. This is for the city. It's not for church people. It's for people that are assigned uh, to work this angle. You, you do your thing, but let's do it together. The Baptists and the Episcopalians and the Pentecostals and the Charismatic and the Atheists. And we, we can all come together and we can make this city better. This city needs you. It's about you. Sure, it's about you. But it's not just about you. It's about all of us together. It's ours. Happy New Year, gang. We got the first month in together. Looking forward for great things, blessings.